Here's a simple but useful editing technique of cutting and cropping into a shot that you should know. So this works well on stationary clips, usually something on a tripod, where we just have our basic frame, not much zooming in or zooming out is happening. What we wanna do is locate the moment where you wanna cut in or crop in, and let's create a cut on that moment. I'll press C on my keyboard to activate my razor tool, or you can highlight it in the toolbox, and I'll create a cut there, and then at the moment where I want to crop back out, you can create another cut, so now we have this middle segment of the clip where we want to scale and crop in. And you can do that by highlighting on the clip, heading over to the effect controls panel. We also wanna make sure that our timeline is active on that portion of the clip so we see what's going on. So simply increasing the scale, we'll just increase the scale into the middle point, which sometimes isn't what we want because now we're cropping off this person's face. And in that case, we can also move the, the X and Y position over a little bit so we get a similar proportion to the original shot, but cropped in a little bit. It's also nice if you're shooting in a higher resolution, you'll be able to, to keep your quality. And now you can crop in and crop out as it plays. A quick tip for adjusting the timing of that, let's say you're trying to sync it to music or something like that, uh, you can just drag the ends of the clip and then drag the other one out, but a simple tool in the toolbar to do that is the rolling edit tool, and that's N on your keyboard. And that will just let you move this cut point in and out while keeping everything linear so that you can cut in and out, let's say, to whatever the music is or just changing the timing of it. I would suggest playing it back a few times just so you get the right feel of how long to hold that shot in and when to take it out. So definitely not the most advanced technique in the world, but it's easy and effective to add a little bit more interest when you have a long static shot where you don't want to lose the viewer's interest. You just want to change things visually for impact. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.